We bought our first um, system in October or November of last year, so it's almost one year. One year. I think there are two advantages. Number one is it allows us to machine cold drawn material, and with our strict demands that we have from our customer relative to pricing. It allows us to, to keep our costs down and remain competitive by using cold drawn material because of the difference in diameter in the raw material that we use. The second advantage that we have is, uh, that I think the system has, is that in machining parts, especially parts that have uh, a hex requirement, we're able to use round stock and we're able to mill the hex because of the flexibility of your bushing, we're able to mill the hex and we're able to get we're able to hold on the part better for cross drilling as well. And so the machining of the machining is one advantage as well as as the pricing to our end customer. And both of those are very important for our book of business. The um, the main problem that we had been having that uh, led us to to invest in the Duner system was uh, the inability to use cold drawn bar stock in our Tornos machines. Um, because of that, uh, we were having guide bush fitting problems. Um, you set the guide bush on the large part of the bar, then when you get to the smaller part of the bar, you get uh, chatter and push away. You lose size control, you pick up chatter. If you set the bushing on the smaller portion of the bar, uh, then you seize when you get to a big place. And since bars typically vary in size up and down the bar, you can't make one adjustment per bar and expect it to run. You have variations within that bar. So uh, the alternative to that before we bought the Dunair system was to use ground and polished stock, which is obviously much more expensive. So uh, that was really what drove us to, uh, to invest in the system. I think we do. I think one of the functions that we do is is milling and we're able to mill hex onto round material and the advantage of this to us is that when we were using hex bar stock the machine was rattling and it was a variable that we really couldn't control and because of the three position bushing it allows us to mill the hex and then when we do a cross drilling function a small drill um, it, the material stays in place better and it gives us a better finish with less chatter and really just improves the whole quality of the product that's made from hex. Yes, um, one of the areas that we were having a lot of problem with was machining hex material. Um, the, um, the, the lack of straightness of the bars plus the rotation of the corners of the hex in the feed tube created a lot of vibration. So um, uh, with the Duner system, we no longer run hex material. And the system has the ability to, uh, when the spindle stops, it can close in a locked position, holds the, the bar very steady while we mill the hex flats and index and mill the next flats and so forth. Then it can release and go back to normal operating. Uh, without that, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the bar would tend to want to move, rotate slightly. So I think uh, the main thing that it gives us the possibility to do that we did not have before is, is, is milling the hex. Before when we were using uh, just a normal rotating guide bushing, fighting the variations in size, wrecks in the machine, um, where you would seize the bushing, wreck the machine, then you have to put the setup back together, uh, scrap parts because of chatter primarily, 
So we were up against lost time, downtime on the machine, scrap parts, customer dissatisfaction uh, with, uh, with parts that didn't have the, the best surface finish. So once, uh, once we, we started using the, uh, the Dunair system, it was like relief. They just, those problems just simply went away. Your traditional Swiss automatic bushings don't really allow the flexibility to machine different, uh, different diameters based on your raw material. The biggest advantage in, in, machining, in machining that I found out that we do is standardizing all of, standardizing everything that we do. We can standardize our machine somewhat. We can standardize our tooling. And we somewhat can standardize our labor. What we can't standardize is our material. And that's the one hiccup that you see with Swiss Automatic is that in order to remain price comp competitive for the industry that we're in, we have to buy cold draw material. Now with your bushing, we're able to standardize that. And that makes a big difference for our labor pool, for our supervisor, that's the one thing that we now can control that we couldn't control a year ago. The installation of the unit uh, was not prohibitive at all in terms of time. Uh, we, uh, we bought three units at once. They all came to us at once. Um, and then you came along with another gentleman and did the installation and the training. We had three Sigma Tornos machines at that time. They were all Sigma 20s. Um, those are the machines that we were having trouble with the material and we wanted to uh, uh, put the units in those machines uh, for that purpose. Uh, I think uh, best I remember it was less than a day per machine that you spent uh, doing the complete installation and the training of the uh, operators on the function of the unit and how to program them, how to put the M codes into the machine in the right place and so forth. So, you know, it was a, a very small investment in downtime for the benefit that we received. When we first saw the system, we weren't used to it. And so I think when your crew came and in installed the system, at first it was a little overwhelming, but the training that was provided and the feedback that you guys gave us, we were quickly able to adjust to the new flexible guide bushing. And the learning curve really just took a few days until we were pretty, pretty familiar with how everything works. When you guys came and installed our units on three machines, I think you were here for one day. So we, we didn't lose maybe a half a day production in the install um, for each machine. And, but rel we were up and running very quick. So relative to um, the overhaul that we went through, the downtime really was only about a half a day. And we, we can absorb that and make that up over time. Well, as a matter of fact, we just did that. We bought our fourth uh, Torno Sigma. This time it's a 32 millimeter machine. And we um, uh, bought a Duner bushing for it as, as, as part of the purchase of the machine. We, we wanted it in there from the, from the very beginning. So when we bought the machine, we also bought a Duner bushing. Yes, we would. That's what uh, our, our our first three Sigmas were obviously existing machines. So we uh, that was the first thing we did was equip the older machines, and we would continue to do that. So. I absolutely would recommend this system to other users. On one hand, we're excited about. Um, our three position bushing, we do, we do feel like it gives us a competitive advantage. And the reason why we, we, we would recommend that is it's really, it's a simple, it's a simple business decision for us. It allows us to purchase material at a cheaper price than ground and polished material would be. And it allows us to have more consistency in machining. So the way I look at it is it's a, it's really a short term investment for a long term gain.
I think we did. A lot of our customers have very high finish requirements and one of the things they don't like is, is chatter on their parts. And when you're machining a lot of 321 stainless and you're using a lot of carbide tooling, you have to get your, your surface feet has to, has to be pretty perfect in order for that part to look aesthetically pleasing to the customer. And I would say, looking back on it, the biggest thing I noticed was that the consistency and the finish on our parts. And because we were getting that really good finish, we didn't have to make any adjustments to our program. We didn't have to start from the beginning. It was more consistent and it was a finish that, to be perfectly honest with you, right off the machine, um, we could put our parts in a net and put them in a box and, and ship them to our end customer. The ability to use uh, cold drawn stock and the unit adapts to the size of the bar as the bar changes as it goes down the bar as you machine the bar away. Uh, in Previously, before we had the Dunair system, uh, when we would get to a smaller portion of the bar, you would have a little bit of looseness in the guide bushing. Uh, that resulted in some chatter. Uh, a little push away. Um, so with the Dunair system, uh, by not having that situation exist, we don't have those bad spots, uh, the parts from those bad spots in the bar. So definitely, uh, overall, we have a much better product quality in terms of surface finish. I think it had an immediate impact on our production. And the reason why is that when you have that variable of either using hex material or cold draw material, the unpredictability of machining is really what causes most of your problems. And those are the hardest problems to solve are problems that are, that are unpredictable. And not being able to control the material size made our machining very unpredictable. So as soon as we standardized that, our operators and our supervisor were able to identify what the real problem was because it wasn't in, in the material. We mostly manufacture um, variations of, of stainless steel hose fitting type products, mostly 321 stainless. We also have some 316 and 304 that we run, but usually it's um, Usually it's 321 stainless. On our on those machines, we're uh, we're primarily running 304 and 321 stainless steel. Yes, I uh, uh, you know in looking at the cost of the unit uh, and in uh, and, and comparing that to the downtime costs that we were experiencing before. Um, I have no doubt that these units have paid themselves back in less than, than a year. Uh, probably by the, since we've had them uh, uh, about 10 months, uh, I'm convinced they've already paid for themselves. I think for us and what we do, we figure each, each of the flexible air bushings that we've purchased, we probably have somewhere around a 12 month payback. And when you look at that payback per by each machine, when you times that times two or three or four or five machines, the rest of that is now going in in our pockets and into the company instead of um, to our raw material supplier. So not only is it a 12 month, not only do I feel like it's a 12 month um, buyback, that profitability it continues and it's an aggregate over time. I was just talking to my production manager about using the clamp position in, in drilling and we actually, this is actually one of the parts that we do um, and he told me that, that so far using that bushing we have not been able to hold the part as good as we were able to hold it um, using any other methods. We have some pieces that have a 56 thousandths hole in it and we were able to, we used to at one point, I think we broke over a hundred drills for our whole, for our whole run, and using the um, the closed position, 
milling the hex, we were able to run that whole job. I think it was 2,500 pieces, and we only used two drills. I can try. This is a this is a piece that um, we've really improved our efficiency on because of the flexible air bushings. This is a piece that we used to make out of hex material. I believe it's I, I believe it's three eighths hex, and one of the the issues that we had when we were running that hex material was the hex material was it was a little bent or a lot bent I guess in some cases and it just caused too much vibration on the machine and the vibration didn't just affect the finish of the part it affected the drilling it affected um, our groove detail it affected the threads it was a loud vibration and with this piece one of the things we were able to do because of that because of that clamp position is we're able to mill it mill the round into a hex and then we're also able to cross drill and because of that you the machine doesn't vibrate so as a secondary result really every function on this part whether it's on the main spindle or on the sub spindle is now a cleaner is now a cleaner piece and because of because of that um, the flexible guide bushings we were now able to, I think, take this part from six pieces an hour to 21 pieces an hour. And that makes a big difference on our production and our schedule. Not to mention how much time that frees up our supervisors going there and fixing bar stock that's either seized up in the old fashioned type bushings or that's pushed too far and you've now wrecked. Yes, here's another part that's, uh, uh, this is round part. Uh, this is 304 stainless steel. Uh, this is, this part has around uh, 12 times the drill diameter in terms of drill depth. Uh, so um, we are able to uh, uh, machine this part using the Dunner bushing, using cold drawn material. And we no longer have any chatter here. Uh, we no longer have any chatter in this uh, area here that's uh, that's in the smooth section of the part. Uh, we are able to um, uh, utilize all of the parts. There's no chatter on any of these parts and we don't have to throw anything away. So these represent two of the, the, the two main features that we talk about when we when we look at the advantages of our Dunair. Yes, yes. Um, one of the things that we um, um, used to have to do quite a lot was um, um, we would buy, of course, cold raw material because in the marketplace we pretty much had to do that. Uh, the, uh, the result was scrap parts, wrecked machines, um, and so part of what we had to do at that time was do a lot of measuring on each bar before we would load it. Even though the bars were made to uh, manufacturing accepted manufacturing tolerance tolerances in the cold finish industry in the US the uh, you know the bars were not real straight uh, they were uh, uh, varied in size so um, we became very selective in the uh, supplier that we used because we soon learned which materials made by which mills had the most and the least amount of variation so we would have to to exert the effort during our procurement process to find those materials. Um, and we would sometimes pay more money for the, that material because we felt like when we got it, it would run better and offset that cost. Uh, now, with the Dunair system, we are freer to go into the marketplace and shop for material without regard to its runability in terms of, of variation in, in diameter because the Duner system simply compensates for that. So it allows us more latitude in buying material that's more available in terms of lead time and at a more competitive price. Yeah, to answer that question, it's a simple answer. It's better and cheaper. Customers, I think in all industries, they want parts, they want the same part with the same quality and they want it cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and I don't think that's going away with all the competition and all the people that are running Swiss automatic type machines 
Um, the price is just going to get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper as the technology gets better. And without having those flexible guide machines, we would have to pay almost double for our material. And in a in a, in a low volume in a low margin market, that's just not possible to do. So we feel like we've made a pretty smart investment with your product.